I think he's having way too much fun knocking the ice off the bushes. He's just, you know, he's like a five-year-old. Ah, holy cow. Good morning. It is just before lunch on Valentine's Day, February 14th, and we still have this outside. <laughs> can you even see that for all the white glare? I'm not even sure you can. There you go. That's kind of a view. Anyway, we are still under an ice storm warning. You heard me right. Ice storm warning. Um, yeah, and I think it's starting to actually rain. Not hard ice rain, just rain, rain, wet rain. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad because it's going to make things slushy and maybe more slippery. I don't know. We are going to don our cleats in a little bit and probably go for a walk as long as it doesn't start raining any harder than it is right now. Then we'll kind of see. It's a kind of a steady downpour. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not afraid of getting wet, but I'd rather not get drenched and get pneumonia. So there's that. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna art the day away. Um, we're caught up on chores and things and we'll probably at some point turn the, where are we, fireplace on. It's a gas fireplace. We do have a backup battery thing for it. Um, but at some point we'll probably turn it on uh, in case the power goes out. Let's hope it doesn't, but you know, just in case. We have a way to stay warm. Um, yeah, so that's a thing. I should probably pull some meat out of the freezer for dinner and hope that we don't have to cook it on the barbecue in the snow. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. I think he's having way too much fun knocking the ice off the bushes. He's just, you know, he's like a five-year-old. Ah, holy cow. <laughs> to our surprise, the ducks are out. And they're in the water. I think you guys can see them back there behind the trees. Uh, there's a lot of ice falling, if you heard that. I'm not super comfortable walking under all of that to go look at the ducks because I don't want to get ice on my brain. That would be bad. A lot of ice falling off the trees. Yeah, it's all melting, which is good, but dangerous. All right, we'll be back. Hey guys, it is around lunchtime or so on Monday, February 14th. Um, 
It's still white-ish outside, although we're raining and it's in the 40s, so this is not going to last the afternoon. I don't think it's going to be melting. Neighbors are getting their cars out and driving and stuff. We are going to let it melt a little more, and then we do need groceries, so um, we will end up going to the grocery store tonight. I'm going to have to go to make a trip to the post office, too. I have three things that need to be mailed, and... I need to check on the P.O. box, but they're closed today. So I might try to do that tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll have to see. Okay guys, it's just after lunch and the snow is melting as you can see. It's slushy. Hubby has his hiking boots on. I still have the cleats on my shoes. I'm less worried about my feet getting wet than I am slipping and falling, so anyway, probably. So we're out walking and we're actually headed home because it's starting to rain again, but yeah, do you see that behind me? Behind me? Uh, wow. That's a lot of tree. We've seen branches down in the neighborhood, but nothing like that until now. Good morning, everybody. I am out driving in mostly melted snow. Does that mean I can't say I've never driven in the snow before now? <laughs> It's mostly melted. I don't think that counts. Anyway, I have got to gear up to leave the car. I'll be back. Okay, so I got all my errands and stuff done this morning, and then I came home, and some of my friends were chatting on Zoom, and so I spent, uh, it's like 3 o'clock. I haven't had lunch yet. I spent the time from, I got home about 11 until now, <laughs> chatting with them on Zoom and making some journals. So, I know it's dark in here. I should turn some lights on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So, I took some of the um, mixed media, colored mixed media paper I talked about last week, and some gift bags, and I made some journals. So, the cover is a laminated gift bag, and the pages is the, are the colored um, mixed media paper and watercolor paper and then bound on my cinch. Uh, sorry, my zutter bind it all with cinch coils. I made one, again, I think I showed this last week, um, like this with a chipboard cover that I'm actually currently working in. I went ahead and I cut the rest of that paper up and the chipboard from the backs of the pads and some watercolor paper. I ended up using up eight pads of paper that I had in my stash. I made six more of these, at least five of which are gonna be for sale in the Etsy shop, but I've gotta get them bound. So I don't know when that's gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna do all that hole punching myself because that is a lot of holes to punch and I don't think my hands are up to it. So I'm going to look into seeing if that's something they offer at Staples, which we have one that's not too far from the house. And if I can get them to do it for me, at least punch the holes, that would be great. So. Good morning, everybody. I think it's still morning. I don't know, hold on. Ugh, it technically is 11.58 a.m. <laughs> um, headed, obviously I'm in the car. I'm headed out to the post office again, two days in a row. I have, a package that's got to go out. Correcting a, mis correcting a mistake on my part. Um, so I'm taking care of that today. And I found out about it too late in the day to... Where is the seatbelt went? <laughs> this feels damp. I don't know. I found about out about it too late in the day to or arrange for pickup. So I'm going to go drop it off at the post office. I have... There's another Dollar Tree I kind of want to go to. So I might go do that today too on the way. There's the mailman. I wonder if I could like, he probably won't pick it up, but I could ask him.
I just have a quick question. I have a package I was going to arrange for pickup, but it's too late in the day to do that today. Can I just give it to you, or is it best I take it down to the post office? It's already got the postage on it and everything. That would be great. Um, he took the package. That was just like that never happens. That was so weird. Things like that never happened to me. Maybe it's going to be a good day. Maybe my luck is changing. Um, but since he was here, that means the mail is here. So I'm going to go check the mailbox and then I guess I'll go in and eat lunch. I'm not going to go to Dollar Tree today because I was only going to do that since I was out to sort of make the trip more productive than just going to the post office. But uh, yeah. If I have to go, if I have to drive to the dentist tomorrow, I'll go to the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm gonna have to, but if I do, I will. All right, I'll be back. We got another one of these mystery tote bags that I guess is from a magazine subscription renewal. I have no idea. This is the second one we've gotten in the mail. No note, no nothing. They're from China. I have no idea. I have no idea. It's very weird. So we are out getting some evening steps in before dinner. This is like the second or third night in a row. I've kind of lost track of the nights I've forgotten a flashlight. Um, it might be third or fourth. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to the, bring the flashlight. Good thing I'm not really wearing squish me colors. I've got... Fred, Fred keeps forgetting his phone. Yeah, and Fred keeps forgetting his phone. So... The Google Nest thinks we're still home. He's also wearing squish me colors. See, he's wearing, you can barely see him. At least it's not the black jacket. So bonus points for you, but it's still dark brown. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go try to get some steps in, get some exercise and yeah, I'll be back. Good morning. It is Thursday, March, March. Holy cow! February 18th, 9.17 a.m. I have a dentist appointment to fix my crown. And um, I'm not walking over. I'm driving because it's raining outside. And it's not raining very hard, but it's supposed to dump like any minute. And it certainly does look like it. Plus, I kind of want to run a couple errands afterwards. 
So I think we're gonna just drive. Um, and turn the thermometer up. Turn the heat, heat seat warmer thing on. Holy cow. I'm not used to having my car parked outside all the time in, the, in this cold and having to like let it warm up a little bit before I drive anywhere. But now that we have three cars, Subi doesn't fit in the garage. So <laughs> the hot rods are <sighs> way more delicate. The Subi's not delicate, so she has to be in the driveway. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we're out walking. It's a little bit drizzly, drizzly, but not too bad. I remembered my flashlight. So bonus points for me. I also brought a, an umbrella, um, just in case. We didn't get very far when we noticed one of the neighbors left the back hatch of their car open. And so I went and knocked on the door and let them know they were, gonna, they were closing it when we left. And met their little dog, so cute. We've got bread proofing in the oven. I made some needle felted coasters. I'll put a picture here. Uh, first time needle felting, it was a lot of fun. I got the stab to stab the crap out of some wool and felt. Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> Didn't poke myself either, so miracle. All right, we're gonna go get some steps in and do some walking. And then I think we're having some like grilled salmon and salad for dinner. So I'll be back. Before I forget to vlog, <laughs> good morning, everybody. It is 11.40 a.m. Friday, February 19th. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the iPad. I was listening to our governor's news conference about the virus while I was doing some more uh, cleaning and straightening. Uh, I have the perfect nearly collection of organizational tools and supplies because when I get the urge to rearrange things because they're not exactly right or I'm in a different creative mood, I can literally just pull from what I have and do the rearranging and not buy anything. And I love that. Some of what I use is repurposed, recycled packaging. Some is purchase things. Um, but it's the perfect combination of things so for me. So I love having as part of my workspace, I'm sorry, I'm just fiddling, um, having a section or a closet or part of a closet of just uh, bins and boxes and containers, 
basically. Uh, if you've watched the last vlog, then you know it's in the big closet over there in the other room. Um, because when I get the urge to rearrange things, I can just go in there and grab a few things and do the rearranging, put the things I'm not using at the moment back. Um, I changed the pe Ikea pegboard a little bit doing that. So the center part here is a little bit different. Um, I changed some of the big bins on the bottom again, and um, I didn't really purge a lot because of what I found I wanna keep. I forgot I had some things, like I have a lot of large wood chipboard. I kind of forgot where it was. I just found it, put it in a new place so I don't forget about it again. Yeah, that was a thing. Um, including a whole bunch of chipboard from my friend Mike Deacon. Um, I'll put his website down below. I forgot I even had it. And so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the deer came by a lot this morning to eat. They were eating the bird food. We put out bird seed for the birds, and the deer evidently eat bird seed. So, that's a thing. <laughs> they were hungry, I guess. There were three of them, two babies and an and, uh, adult female. Uh, what else? I don't know. There was something else. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I finished up the um, needle felted coasters. I put a backing on them, got those cut out and all um, done, glued together. And so those are, I'm going to take those downstairs when I go get lunch ready. And yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm going to brought my daily art bag upstairs with the ideas that, that I might do today's um, art pages. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. If I'll do them early or not, the kids are coming over for dinner, so I don't know. We'll see. It looks like nice outside, so if it doesn't rain, we might go walking later with the kids. So, All right. I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. morning people it's just before 11 a.m saturday february 20th i think it's a little bit drizzly out but it's not too bad we're going for a walk we are dog sitting crazy pants crazy pants the dog not bob <laughs> you're fred yeah um so we're gonna go take her for a walk uh for a little bit before lunch So I'm not sure how great a walk it's going to be. <laughs> we didn't get more than a block when Lily tried to eat a dead squirrel that looks like it got run over by a car. And then she did her business and we realized there's no bags in the little bag like thing. Yeah. So Lily and I are here waiting by where she did her business and Bob has gotten, gone home to go get bags. Thankfully we're not far from the house <laughs> and because we're not those people that are just going to leave it. That's not who we are. Hey guys, so fun fact, I forgot to close the vlog last night. Oops. So the kids went out yesterday while we babysat the dog and bought a new car. So they now have a Kia, what is it, Sorrento? Sorrento. Yeah. A Kia Sorrento. Nice, so nice it was a it's a nice car and we went driving around in it last night and then got buffalo wild wings to go and ended up having dinner with them and 
being very distracted, so I forgot to close the vlog. Oops. Yeah, the sun came up this morning. Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of. It's partly cloudy. Um, but we'll get to that in next week's vlog. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great week and a great day. Um, don't forget to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, not only for me, but for any of your favorite creators. Check out the video descriptions. I know I have a link tree list of links down below. That includes the Etsy shop and a bunch of other stuff. It also includes things like my Instagram. So if you wanna just go follow me on social media, those links are down there. Anyway, check it out. If you have questions or comments or concerns, please leave them down below. If you're in one of my Facebook groups and you wanna make sure I get your question or that I see what you're posting, tag me in the post. That's the best way. All right, that's it. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear your mask and don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. Bye guys.